Uh, right, excellent. Thank you uh, so much, folks. That was some really good feedback there. I will deal with approximately half of the questions, and then I will ask uh, Chris to pick up those that uh, I don't cover. So um, one picks up, uh, there's a couple of comments around escalators and elevators. So um, the, absolutely, I get that. The, 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 at the moment, I don't think our performance on escalators and elevators is good enough. We do measure uh, the um, availability of escalators and elevator, uh, elevators against um, planned uh, outages because, you know, at the end of the day, they need to be maintained. They, they, they have quite a hard life with salt and snow and whatever getting into them. Um, but um, I think sometimes we, uh, we slightly kid ourselves as to what the reality is out there. So I'm looking to, to firm up on that metric so that we really uh, measure exactly what the customer's experience is. But the key thing is to make these things, um, uh, to make these devices more available. So uh, a number of things we're doing. Number one, um, one of the comments which was from uh, Harry, uh, where Harry rightly pointed out that at Victoria Park the machine was out of service for a long time. Um, until recently, crews didn't work weekends. We are now changing that. Uh, so uh, the, the crews will be working on, rather than on two machines, which they currently do, so uh, one machine is left while they're working on the other, it just seems completely illogical to us. So what we're going to do is have them focus on one machine, and we think we can more than half the, the amount of downtime of any particular machines. Uh, in fact, probably uh, way more than half. We're looking to, to radically decrease the, the average time that an escalator or an elevator has planned maintenance. The other thing I'm very keen to at least explore for um, the, where, where we have to take machines out uh, fairly regularly for a two-hour safety inspection, uh, I've challenged my team, why can't that be done at night? Uh, when the service is not running. Why do we have to do it on uh, days, even in the off-peak? Uh, so we're having a look at that. Um, so that was escalators and elevators. Uh, comment from David at the start, last bus announcements at bus base. I think that's a really good idea. Let's have a look at it. Uh, I can tell you now, it is an absolute cardinal sin for buses to run early, in my opinion. And definitely, the last bus should never, ever run early. So I'm disappointed to hear that. We're going to put a stop to that. A um, couple of other things. Uh, Charles, you commented on moving, moving booths away from turnstiles, the, uh, the um, booth counters. Uh, I'm very familiar with London. I worked on the Tube for 15 years, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, when we go live with Presto, uh, we don't really need collector booths because there'll be no tokens to collect. So what I would like to do is declutter the whole uh, barrier area. Um, in most cases, remove the booth. Uh, and uh, convert station collectors into station supervisors, which will be a much more proactive, professional, roving, helpful uh, role where they, uh, the supervisor actually uh, actively manages the station rather than being <coughs> excuse me, confined to a booth. Um, someone, Paul, mentioned uh, handholds on TRs, Toronto Rockets. Uh, we're on the case with that. Uh, the, we're, we're speaking to Bombardier about how we might fix that. Um, that you're right, there's not enough handhelds on them. That is an omission of the design. Uh, and I don't like to see people hanging on to the uh, air conditioning unit, so we're looking to get some um, flexible handhelds on that. We need to get back to you on timing. Uh, maybe I'll just do a couple of others. Um, Harry, you mentioned Gord Perks, not, uh, not here. All city councillors were invited. Okay, now they're busy people, so maybe he had a clash with tonight. But just for your information, every single city councillor was invited to this, and it's good to see that, that we've got a number of uh, councillors here. Um, I thought I might just comment on one more and then leave Chris with a few to answer. Um, so, Patricia, you just raised a bunch of questions, and thank you for that positive feedback. Why the fare increase? Um, well, we don't want to raise the fares, uh, but at the end of the day, TTC costs do go up. Uh, there are you know, increases in costs for um, a number of things, for the materials. We are adding lots of service. Now, we have to take on additional operators to increase the service. Uh, we're um, progressively uh, you know, buying new buses. We have to pay for that somehow. Um, there's four uh, things to influence my budget. One is fare increase. We'll keep it to the absolute minimum. Two, subsidy, but I've already been told I'm not getting any more subsidy this year, so, that, so I, you know, that's not an option for me. Um, three, we could uh, make savings by cutting service. No way. We're actually going to increase service. And um, four, uh, efficiencies. We are in the process of uh, identifying um, uh, ways in which we can run the TTC more efficiently. So my guarantee to you is we will keep the fare rise to a minimum, uh, and we will uh, identify further ways to run this business efficiently. Um, and then the final 
another one again in response to you, Patricia. PAPE, um, PAPE will conclude finally by 2013. I did a site visit with the team there the other day, uh, and we met uh, local residents. Um, it has been a very difficult site to build, and not least because we're building on an active station. If we could have just shut it, we could have had it built by now, probably built within, say, two years. But we have had problems with utilities, uh, and we've also had to maintain the bus routes. It's gone on too long. We're nearly there. All the hard work is done. We're into the home straight now, so sorry it's taken so long. 2013, it will reopen.